so before we start this video, uh, go to my cupboard and check some things out there and leave a like and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to show you the most underrated use of Blender ever. Um, you've probably all rendered something or, or, or did some video or animation, something like that. It's modeling, but I promise you, you've never, never actually done this. So what we're going to do is make sounds move things in Blender. And you can move everything, you can move anything you can, can animate, anything with a circle here, anything you can keyframe, you can animate in Blender. So uh, let's uh, start by uh, getting a cube and just subdividing it. This is not necessarily um, what you should do, but it's just uh, so you can see what I'm doing, how it works. Just adding a noise texture. And then if we change the strength here, we can make it pop up and we can maybe make something like uh, the monster cat um, visuals music video uh, videos animations can make it here so we can play with the strength and maybe could like uh, make it react on the music shade smooth okay it's so a really uh, quick setup now what we're going to do is um, press i on whatever value we want to keyframe and we want to move and we go to the graph editor uh, make sure your timeline is still open so you, it's just easier craft editor and now when we're here we can just we can uh, get right into it uh, so you see the the keyframe we have here make sure you, this is selected make sure it's selected and make sure you are on the first frame or the frame you have keyframed just the starting frame what we're going to do now is go to key bake sound to f curves and now we're going to choose our sound. I'm just going to choose one of my songs. And we can change the values here. From the lowest frequency to highest frequency. frequency all the thresholds. I suggest uh, just bringing the square threshold down. And just bake. And now we see the entire uh, song is just here. And the end is here. We can change the end to the end frame, something like here. And you can see it doesn't really do much. So if you want to make this effect more noticeable, you can add a modifier here. You can add the envelope modifier. Add a control point at the zero mark again at your keyframe. And then change this max value. Change the max value down. You can see it's much more defined. Maybe not something you want with the strength. But you can definitely just uh, do it 0.5 or something. It's, uh, you can see it a lot clearer. But we can't actually hear it now, so it's a little bit awkward to make something. So you're going to add a speaker. I bet you have never added a speaker before. You can actually do that. You can go to the sound tab and open up your sound. Uh, just open up the same sound. I chose this one. This one. This uh, song is on my on my YouTube somewhere. So now you should be able to hear it. And uh, our object reacted with, with it, as you can see here. Or you can add another modifier or something else. You can also just keyframe the rotation and location. And then we can go here and choose one of the rotations. Maybe like the X. And just do the same thing again. Big sound to F curve and just select it again. Add a modifier with the same envelope. I think it was 0.48. And make sure to add a control point. And now we change the location. Can make this more noticeable, maybe. This is just for um, for you to see how it works. I wouldn't actually do this in one of those videos. So something else you can do is just add a, a new 
new mesh. And we can make some of those bars that go up uh, according to the values. So we're going to go back to zero and keyframe the scale on all of them. Maybe just, no, we can keep it like this. Change the Z scale because that's what you want to change uh, according to the value. And go to key, bake sound to F curve, choose the same uh, song. And I forgot to do what I wanted to do. So you can uh, select your song, and here you have the lowest frequency and the highest frequency. So if we change this to like 100, it would be 100 kilohertz, and I think that's uh, like a bass. Maybe we can do 200 with this one. Big sound to F curves. And if we do the same here, Z scale, key. But instead of doing uh, highest frequency 200, the lowest frequency is 200 and highest is like uh, 1000. You can see it moves on my uh, on the audio. And you should just, uh, if you know a lot about a lot about music, you should probably just uh, uh, find these values yourself instead of just copying them for me. I don't really know how this works. Let's do a, a thousand to like a hundred thousand. Everything else. can see the hi-hats here, or the, or the claps, and this is just the melody, I think, and the, the bell, and this is the bass. You can still add the envelope modifier, and make sure to add a control point. Maybe make some, some more defined than others. And that's how you make uh, one of those graphs. It's uh, really cool. Maybe add an emission modifier here, or emission material, and change the background to like black or something. This is doing it really quickly. Make it like that. Add some bloom. Not that much bloom. Make this like uh, green. And that's a really cool way to, to use Blender. Uh, I never thought this would, would be possible, but it is. So yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, just leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and go to my Gumroad, buy something there if you want to support the channel. And I will see you in the next one. So have a nice day.